Oh, hello. Uh, so, sorry, old man, you're, you're blocking me in. Blocking me in. I'm in rather a hurry. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. So, sorry, I'll get my keys. Paul? Hello, you're um, the doctor. He's, he's blocked me in. God, what a night. You should have kicked me out. I'm going to be late myself. Oh, sorry about this, Paul. I, I, I never realised. What time is it? When did you die? Really? Oh, God, I'm really late. I'm not used to drinking. <laughs> Divorcees. He left his card in Paul Collins's way. And she comes to the door as bold as brass half naked. What? Heather. She's had a man there all night. Divorcees. They get the shackles off and they go mad. No shame in them. No shame at all. Sorry about that. Didn't realise I was staying. Oh. Circumstances beyond my control. Oh. No harm done. No. Nice to have met you again. Bye, Paul. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to have to ring. Do you want to stay and have some breakfast? I can't, Heather. I should be on by nine. I'll oh, have a shower then. Have to be quick. But where did you get that blanket? I itch like mad. <laughs> Do you want to go? Hey. No, I don't. Don't you think you'd be better off at home, Rob? I'm all right. Me and Marge. We could give an eye on you. Well, I'll be with him. Well, I think he should be at home, Michelle. It's very kind of you to offer and all that, but the state he's in, he should be at home. It's all right. I'm doing nothing. But your sister's got enough in her place. Well, she said it's all right, and it is. And what about the two kids? We're all away at the moment. When they come back, it'll just mean me sleeping on the sofa. Unless I decide to squeeze in with the bionic man. Shut up. Are you sure you'll be all right, son? Yeah. Well, I hope your mood improves. Give us a shout before he gets on your wick. I will. And I'll lock him up in our back bedroom. Anything I can get you, love? No, no thanks. Oh, well, I'll leave you to it then. Well, I'll see you out. I won't be a minute. Oh, another thing, love. If you get fed up kipping on the city, give us a shout, and I'll send Marge on to her mother's. <laughs> <laughs> see you, son. See ya. Oh. oh. Where's me paper? I'm going out. What about your breakfast? Do you have to go out right now? Do you blame me? It's nearly done. I can get the same as that in Lime Street. Will you be back for your dinner? No, I can get that there as well. And eat in better company. Don't let him bother you, Edna, love. That fellow's been in a bad mood since the day I met him. Hello, what have we got here? He must be nuts walking out on this. Doesn't know how lucky he is. Can you eat it? I will, Edna, love, if you'll sit and share it with us. I'm not hungry. This'll cheer you up. Polite diplomats running in at 2.30. Oh, I am sorry about last night. It's all right. I feel such an idiot crashing out like that before the fruit tart, too. <laughs> when can we do it again without the undignified good night? God, I'm so busy. This is ridiculous. Having to check a diary to see when I can take you out to dinner. How about Monday night? Late meeting. I've got a lot to finish off, you see, before I go to Manchester. Friday, then? Then I'm in Manchester. I'll be back on the Sunday. Sunday? What's that? I think I'm covering for half the hospital rugger team. Hmm. Well, shall we leave it that we'll phone? Will you get any time off in Manchester? A little, perhaps. How about lunch that Friday? In Manchester? Why not? Otherwise, it'll be weeks before I can return the favour. You don't believe me. Well, I mean it. But you'll come to Manchester. No, I don't. That's it, then. I'll come to Manchester. Which hotel is it? Oh, I don't know yet. I'll give you a ring. Do you know a restaurant called the Film Exchange? No. Well, I'll be there about one o'clock. Sorry, I must go. Stuart, I've never heard of it. Well, neither had I till yesterday. We'll find it. <laughs> Well, if you don't fancy having chips, I could do you a beef burger. All right, I'll have a beef burger. Not many chips, though. Right. Do you want onions with it? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Come to see Sally. Well, he's not well. I know he's not well. That's why I've come to see you. It does. 
All right, sir. I don't want to see you. What? Oh, you heard. What's brought this on? He doesn't want to see you. I'm talking to Terry. It's her business too, and I don't want to see you. Why? Why? Because of all this. Look at the state of me. I can't even get myself the bog. And look at you, walking around like nothing's happened. You haven't even been to see him. I would have done, but I mean... I but what? I don't want to know. It wasn't me who wanted to tell a busy, sir. I don't want to talk about it. Haven't you done enough damage, Barry Grant? Shut up, Michelle! Why should I shut up, eh? Look at him! It was you that got him like this, you! You're just like your Marie, you are. Yeah, well, perhaps I should be more like her when it comes to you. Just go, eh? Yeah, get out. It wasn't my fault, Terry. I mean, we were in this together. Get out! Get out! Just leave it. Just get up and don't come back. Amory was right about you. You're bad luck. I'll pet everything goes wrong. And now this. Just get out. Teddy, I'll come and see you when you're fit, mate. No, you won't. We don't want to see you again, ever. I mean it, Terry. That's the last time he sets foot in this house. I don't want to see him again. The total to a 10 pence stake comes on to 127 pounds and 5 pence. Well, I'm looking rather sour because I think really we shouldn't have gone for a 1 o'clock jump then at 9 to 2. A terrible price for a very good horse, really a pretty consistent animal, and they didn't run Cambridge to deliberately lose. But <laughs> Jerry said he's written, he's the uh, 29th winner, so he won this championship last year and he's won it again this year. This championship is confined to jockeys who haven't ridden 50 winners at the start of the season, so he's eligible to the championship. And, yes. Uh, Jerry says that he's determined to try and win it again. You know, we can't have this, Mrs. Cox. A ten of each way. You're 160 down. If your limit's 120. It isn't. You know it is. Ronnie told you yesterday. It's a good tip I've had. A good tip or not, I can't take it. Just this one. I can't. And I want the account settling. 160? By next Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if... Next Tuesday, Mrs. Cross. What if I can't pay? Look, you got the letter when your application for an account came through. Pay up in seven days when requested. So it's legal action. Legal action? Yeah. Well, I don't think I can pay in seven days. Sorry. That's the rule. And, uh, Jerry says that he's determined to try and win it again for the third year running. The only bit of bad news of that is that uh, you know, Blimey. What? Where have you been staying? Hey? You! You stink! Well, like I said, ma'am, nowhere special. Why don't you have a bath? Can I? Of course you can. You don't have to ask that. I am going, ma'am. I know. I don't want you to feel you're being pushed out because of this baby. I think it's best if I do. I mean, I'm not going to get a job round here, am I? Is it all over then? Seeing you in the shop? Well, I'll tell you, Michelle is still in, but it is a good job, ma'am, and I'll be able to send you some money home and that. No, you won't. Well, Billy Harper said I'd be 200 a week with OVs. Me and your dad are doing all right. Well, all right, I will if you want me to then. I know you will. That's not what you think it is, you know, man. <laughs> Usually me asking you. I feel dead sick about Terry. Perhaps you realise now why I've always worried. Yeah. 
Thanks, Mom. Go on. Go and get your bath. Hello, Edna, love. You look tired. Are you just in time for a cuppa? Uh, is Harry back? Not yet, no. Hey, the comings and goings in this close. Cars in, cars out, and taxis. More cars than soft mick. Harry should cash in on it. I've told him. About rent in the garage. That fellow over there with the two cars, he should ask him. Is it worth it? What? Gracie's brother, he lived in the next street to us. He was paying eight pounds a week for a lock-up garage. Eight pounds? It's worth a try. Hey, are, Anna. Keep the pot warm. I've just remembered. I want to go and see Annabelle. Oh, it's back, is it? All right, then. Where have you been? About. What, says you've got a job somewhere? Yeah. Away, innit? Wolverhampton. Yeah. How much? Never mind. Damon, what are you rooting for? Your season ticket. Oh, that's very nice, that is. Oh, come on. I can't afford one, and you won't be needing it for ages. Go on, and you can use it. Uh, how much will you get? Enough. I've been writing, trying to get a job for ages. Not a thing. You'll have to go away, Dave. Nah. Linda won't let you, eh? Well, it's not that. I mean, I don't want to leave her. I just have to wait till I get something round here. Um, you don't mind if I take these as well, do you? No, you can have them as well. Honest? It's just that, well, I have my kick around with the floodlights and... It's all right, Dane. It's all right. Your mum says you're going tonight? Yeah. Well, I hope it works out. It's all right for you. Thanks, Dane. I mean it, you know, babe. Yeah, I know. Aww. You'll never be out of work, will you, Karen? I don't know. What, the brain of Brookside? It'd be funny having a baby instead of you. Why, what's the difference? Well, over at Susie's house, Sir Jeff's got a new baby now. Him and his wife are living with them. And here it's me mum and dad. Yeah, well, it's too late for me to be bringing a baby into this house, isn't it? Been beaten to it. So it'll finish with Celia, then? Yeah. Thought you might have got you settled down. Settled down? I thought you were the women's live one round here. Well, you know, I liked her. And you did too, didn't you? Yeah. And a bit more. I'm sorry. How are things going to work out with you and Andrew? Oh, I don't know. I'll tell you what, get yourself a real clever fella at university and save him when you come home and... Do us a favour when you can. My mum's still worried about this job and I... So if she starts going on, put her right for us, will you? Yeah, I will. And, um, look after yourself. But Paul does have plans to buy a garage of our own. But renting's cheaper, much cheaper. Well, I, I don't know. I, I think he's got all that in hand. Oh, sorry, there's my phone. Uh, you could do what Harry did with the nurses next door, Elise. Uh, really, I... You could pay a few months in advance. Uh, you've no need to go to a solicitor or anything like that. I could do it. Really, I ought to answer the phone. How much a week, did you say? Six pounds. Well, I... I'll have to ask Paul about that. I'm not sure where he's up to on this. Ah, oh, have you heard? Heard what? Frank Stewart at Manchester has just phoned. Your proposal has gone through. Good. I'll want a meeting as soon as possible. Oh, well, certainly. But not now. I promised myself an early finish. Still full of confidence about this, are you? 
I certainly am. I've seen it all before, Paul. Well, it's all yours now. I think he's so caught up about Celia. Well, I'm more worried about this job. It's all right, Mum. I know it is. Is it? Yeah, I reckon it is. All right, she. You're home early. Home early, I wish it was. That bundle of papers I was reading last night, where are they? Green papers? Yes, yeah, so I should be in St. Helens in half an hour. I've got a trade council meeting. I forgot the flame and things. By the bed. Cheers, kid. Bob! What are you doing here? Didn't my mum tell you? Tell me what? Hello? Oh, Sonia! Hello, how are you? No, no, I've been in all day. A persistent neighbour at the front door. Irishman? I'm intrigued. Well, I hope this isn't bent, lad. It isn't. Yeah. Well, I don't want your mother going through this lot again. Not now. The job straight up, Dad. Yeah. Well, she's had a belly full of this lot. And so have I. And I don't want you coming back here in handcuffs. I won't. Anyway. I hope it works out all right for you. Yeah. Well, thanks. Look, you know why I read up on you the other week, don't you? was worried about your mother and you. And you were lucky this time, you know. If you take my advice, lad, you'll stay well away from them lunatics. All right. It was a mistake, Dad. All of this. You don't want your mother going through all this again, do you? So, what is the job, then? Where is it, Wolverhampton? I'll come over and see you this afternoon. Yes, all right. As I want to know what's expected of me before I accept the contract. All right. I'll see you shortly, then. Bye. Here, put that ten in your pocket. Oh, no way, Dad. You don't like... Put it in your pocket and don't tell your mother. Yeah, is this what you wanted? Thanks, love. You better off, haven't you, if you're doing St. Helens? Yeah. Well, Dad, I hope it's you, Chip. I'm glad you're making a go of it, you know. It's a lot, that thing. It's I'll see you later. See you, love. Barry, you haven't got a set, eh? Yeah. Tom. You all ready? Yeah. I tell you, Dad. I don't know whether he's glad to see the back of me or. Oh, love is sorry. We all are. Look, I know you haven't seen eye to eye with your dad over the last few months, but he does care, love. I think he's worried about you. Well, just because I didn't have the test and that motorbike business, I'll be all right. I can't imagine you with a baby. Neither can I, love. Don't worry, Mum. I am worried. What about? Just worried. Oh, Mum. I've had you three. All smashing kids. Mum, it'll be all right. Evan will be all right. Give us a ring when you got yourself sorted out, won't you? I can't say to that, I can't do me. Mom. is becoming more like a division of NCP. Where are you going? Sonia asked me to call over and see her. Now? Have you found the broadbents? Oh, I forgot. Well, this business with Sonia cropped up. What business? 
She's got some VIPs from Ireland coming over, uh, antique dealers. She's asked me if I can provide them with a meal. What, here? Don't be silly. At Cranston. Oh, you? Yes. And why not? She's paying me. Oh, really? Uh, worth a try. Well, I'm impressed with her powers of persuasion. I can't get you to entertain people I consider VIPs. I rather fancy we could have a run out. Eat with the broadbents. By way of celebration. How long is this jaunt with Sonia likely to take? For heaven's sake, can't you phone Stan? Oh, my God, it was Harry Cross. I wasn't sure. Could have given him a lift. That reminds me about the garage. Any word from the council? Uh, no, but I think you ought to have a word with Harry. Oh? Well, Edna popped over earlier. She seems very anxious that we should rent their garage. Well, she seemed quite desperate. Now, whether they need the money or not... Oh, well, I'll quash that here and now. Well, Harry, could I have a word? I don't know whether to speak or not. <clears throat> what? You all past me. I've a weak heart. It's cold enough to freeze the... I am a Navy, you know. I apologise. Concentrating on the driving and all that. Were you? I just wanted to tell you about your garage. What? Well, Mrs. Cross asked Annabelle today about us renting your garage. The thing is, I'm having my own built. It's very kind of you both, but... Just a minute, Paul. I never made any arrangements about renting my garage out. Well, your wife asked Annabelle. Perhaps she's following your example as a landlord, making some extra money, eh? Are you sure you've got this right? Anna said. I don't need any extra money, Paul. Well, perhaps I got it wrong. But you know my position now. Aye, aye. The wanderer returns. Then goes again. Well, I must say I shan't be sorry to see the back of him. I think that's unfair, Paul. You tell me I had something to do with getting the other fellow sent to jail. Well, we shan't have to worry about his influence around here anymore. Looks like he's going for good.